So in this video, we're going to talk about when do I cut hair wet, when do I cut hair dry, and why do I cut hair when it's dry. And I'm also going to talk about a mannequin head I brought from Pivot Point and my, really, honestly, my disappointments with it. But, um, yeah, let's just jump into it. I purchased this mannequin head for a ride on $70 from pivotpoint.com. I love Pivot Point. Typically, I think they have great stuff. But when I received this mannequin head, I was a little bit disappointed. The minute I pulled it out of the box, you could tell that the quality of the hair was not that great. So the very first thing I want to do with this mannequin head is just flat iron everything out to actually see what's going on with the hair itself. So from the very first section, I could tell what is happening. They've actually only put the thickness of the hair halfway down the hair strand to save money I guess but you can tell the, from the very first section you can see all this breakage halfway down the hair so they've made it thicker closer to the to the head now this happens on clients you know this is um, a, a real thing you can get this type of hair texture it's just not what I was expecting when I spent $70 on a mannequin head so if you've ever had a haircut that was texturized too much or they used a razor on you and really thinned it out a lot and you have really thin hair to start with, this is what's going to happen. Because there's so many shorter pieces, the weight basically moves up from the bottom of the hair and you start getting this little bit of bubble where you can see they've used shorter hair pieces. Now I haven't cut this hair yet, this is brand new, out of the box. Uh, you know. Let me show you what I mean by moving that weight line up. So when I pull this out, I'm going to comb it and I'm going to pull it directly out. And you can see right here on one side of the comb you is a little bit thicker than the other side. The other side becomes nearly translucent or transparent where we can see right through it. As I said before, this can happen to clients, you know, if, if their hair is thinned out way too much. But I feel like to get a nice shape, we're going to have to bring that up quite a bit to get a nice, nice line to it. Or what I'm looking for, you know, to use this mannequin head for anyway. So if a client walked in with this hair, typically what I would do is flat iron it all out straight and I would actually cut the hair dry so I could see what we're working with. So we end up with a with a blunter line on the bottom or a sharper finish. Um, it's better to cut this type of hair dry to oppose wet. So let's figure out how much we've got to cut off here. So I grab a measuring tape. I thought the mannequin head I purchased was about 20 inches long. It's actually about, I don't know, 18, 15 inches. But if we take it to the very bottom, um, okay, the very bottom strand, you're going to get 20 inches. But I've got to cut off about 8 inches to get a nice blunt line to make sure that it's all, <laughs> it's all going to be, you know, a good haircut. I've got to cut off about 8 inches. So what I've decided to do, I'm going to cut off about 2 to 3 inches four maybe three inches now when it's dry and then in another video that i want you to come back and check out is we're going to wash it and we're going to cut another four inches off when it's wet so you can see here see all that breakage on the top so eventually our goal is to bring it all the way up but today we're going to cut off about two three inches when it's dry because most clients want to keep their hair as long as possible when they come in with this type of hair so you can see here I've sectioned it off just from ear to ear I've taken that crown area out as well because that's where it's actually the thickest um, on this mannequin head anyway so the best suggestion I've got for everyone always make sure the client is completely straight you can even have them stand up because it's very important to get right at eye level when you're doing these dry cuts so I am using a cutting stool so I come down to where I want to be so I bring myself down eye level to make sure we're gonna get that nice straight line 
So I bring myself down to eye level and I always start in the middle section. I just take about an inch wide section to create my guideline. So I just section that off and I start right in the middle and I don't cut past my second knuckle. And remember I talk about this a lot in my videos. I actually drag the scissor backwards because I don't want to push a hair. Especially when it's dry. You want to get a nice clean finish to it. So when I'm closing the scissor I'm actually dragging it back to create that guideline to make sure it's nice and sharp and then using my comb just bring everything down just to get that nice blunt finish because I've flat ironed everything I don't keep any real tension on the hair I know it's straight we don't have a lot of hair to work with down here so I just want to clean that all up and just work my way around the back just slowly creating that nice blunt line after dropping my next section down you can see how it just hangs over the guideline and I comb it down with no tension on the hair whatsoever just to create that line. We don't have a lot of hair to work with so that's typically when I cut hair dry because I want to get a clean finish to it regardless but we've got very little hair to work with down the bottom there you can see just combing it down no real tension on the hair and just creating that line. So that's basically the technique for the whole haircut. You can see I'm just combing it down, no real tension on the hair, working my way around the sides to create as much weight as possible on the bottom. As I work my way around to the front, I just slightly over direct it back just to keep that weight on the bottom, following my guideline all the way through and then repeating it on the other side. So that's basically when I cut hair dry is with this amount of density or the amount of hair that we've got to work with. Listen, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and please come back and check out the next video because we're going to be cutting this mannequin hair wet and we're going to be cutting about four inches off and bringing it up to a nice sort of chin level bottom. Seriously, I'm cutting all my hair off. Um, so if this is the first time you come across one of my videos, I'd love you to check out my other videos. Leave a comment down below. Hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. And please, 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 don't forget to subscribe. It'd be much appreciated.